Hello, it is Friday, April 1st, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is April Fool's Day, I suppose, and it looks like the crossword is doing something very tricky. I don't I don't yet know what this means. We'll get to that, we'll get to that momentarily, but it seems like an appropriate puzzle to the day. Um, this edition of the Daily Solve is brought to you by Henrik Koskinen, David Innes, and as always, the inestimable hood monster. So thank you so much to the three of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign. And if you'd like to join their ranks as benefactors and get this um, Daily Solve, let's check the crosses mug, you can find that at patreon.com slash daily solve. But of course, if you back the Patreon campaign at any level, you get access to um, all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the Patreon feed to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week. And you also get access to the extra channel on the Daily Solve Discord chat server. But of course, anybody can join that Discord more broadly. And the links to all these things are in the description field underneath the video. So thank you to everybody who has backed the Patreon campaign um, at any level. I very much appreciate it. It helps keep this whole thing sustainable for me, which I, I really do appreciate. And um, thanks if you've subscribed. Do subscribe to the channel if you've not done so yet. So let's see what is going on with this. I'm very intrigued. Um, and actually, I just realized, uh, again, I've forgotten to look up Evan Monken. Um, uh, anyway, I think not a debut constructor, at least. Um, but yes, was whatever this is, was constructed by Evan Monken. I think I recognize that name from the last few months, at least, and edited, as always, by Will Shorts. And as we can see, this puzzle has a note. It says, this puzzle has four different solutions. When you're done, read the circled letters from top to bottom to find another one. So this really seems like a themed puzzle to me. <laughs> and it's Friday, which ordinarily would be our first of two themeless puzzles for the week. Um, but I see I, there are circled cells. Obviously, circled cells are mentioned. This four different solutions thing is terrifying. Don't know what any of this means yet. Uh, but we're, we're going to find out, hopefully. Hopefully, I'll find out. Um, I have a version here without that note in it so that we can fit it all on the screen. And let's now that we've done that, let's solve it. Let's see what's going on with this strange Friday themeless themed puzzle, maybe? Play. All right, you might bid on it. I don't know, a hand perhaps in a, in a game of poker, for instance. Uh, blank Radhikanu, 2021 US Open winner. Oh, this is the British tennis player. Is it, oh, I already forget her name. Was it Emma Radhikanu? Um, Vegas machine with the best odds. An ATM, perhaps, in that you know you will take money out of it? Is that what that means? Uh, plant. Could be a plant in an espionage sense, a mole, a double agent. Kick hard could be to boot something or somebody. Who might be asked for a donation in brief? Could be an alum, an alum, an alumnus of a, of a university, say. And this looks like yet again... And this looks like eBay. You might bet on it, eBay. Okay, so we have two letters circled so far, A and T. Now, I don't know if this means the bit about there being four solutions. I don't know if this, I mean, perhaps what this means is there would have been more than one way to fill out some of the answers in this puzzle. I don't know if that applies to any of the ones I've filled out so far. Surely not this person's name, but yeah, I just don't know. Let's keep looking. First man in Maori mythology. I'm not sure. I should probably be better acquainted with Maori mythology. A legally parked car, maybe. Toad or something, I'm not sure. How some pet food is sold. In cans, perhaps? And potent marijuana. Potent marijuana. So this wouldn't be an adjective. It would be the noun itself, presumably. I'm not sure offhand, unfortunately. Suffix with bull or bear. Could be bullish or bearish, referring to a bull market or a bear market. Someone who is bullish on the market expects it to rise, the stock market, or the, or the opposite with bearish. Encumbrance. I mean, it could be an onus in the sense that the onus is on you to prove something. You're encumbered with that 
burden of proof. Not sure. Let's check the crosses and, and see. Oh, is this Kush? Potent marijuana Kush? Is that what that is? And then how some pet food. So if this were in cans, let's just try it. Uh, this doesn't look great, actually. Sorry. Not, not thrilled about in cans. What about this? Bathroom cabinet item. Mouthwash. Looks looks appropriate. And then a head could be each. So this item, you know, this costs $5 a head. $5 each. Job at a bank, say. Um, not sure. I wonder if it's not referring to a financial institution, perhaps a river bank or something like that. I'm not sure. A legally parked car, maybe. Oh, maybe it is tow related. Tow away? Doesn't seem like the right part of speech to me. What about this? Japanese, electron well, Japanese electronics brand. Well, the most notable one is Sony, presumably, but there are obviously several others. Um, oh, actually, how some pet food is sold in a can, perhaps. Okay, I suppose, fair enough. Japanese electronics brand. Oh, Iwa, maybe? Is that a Japanese electronics brand? I think so. So a legally parked car maybe looks like tow away. So is that because you would, I'm trying to figure out how that would be used. So is the car itself referred to as a tow away? Is that what that's saying? I think there's something about this that I'm not quite understand. I mean, I understand the concept, obviously, of a legally parked car possibly being towed away. I'm just trying to figure out how the part of speech matches precisely because in, in the New York Times style of crossword cluing, it should always match precisely. But anyway, that's probably the answer. Sorry about that for not, I'm, I'm sure many of you are <laughs> e yelling at me through the screen about this. I apologize. Oh, job at a bank is a heist. I see a bank job, a heist. A, um, I'm going to knock over the bank. Some sources of vitamin C may end with an S possibly. Makes a small plaintive sound. Muse maybe? And code initials could be HTML, hypertext markup language, which is um, used to style websites. How you might feel look how you might feel looking at the northern lights. Awed, perhaps. You might feel in awe, maybe. And what about this? Group that advertised in the Book of Mormon playbill, surprisingly. Uh, LDS, Latter-day Saints, the Church of Latter-day Saints, which is the, the proper name of the Mormon church. So, right, they must have they must have advertised in playbills for the play, the Book of Mormon. That's funny. Headliner of the first Warner Brothers short to win an Oscar. A tweety, tweety bird. I, it must be. Based on these crosses, can't, can't imagine anything else. That's interesting. I'll have to look up what that is. Some sources of vitamin C, I see. So AIDS, perhaps, as in lemonade or limeade, something that would have uh, fruit juice in it. Product often advertising 99.99% effectiveness. Hand sanitizer, uh, which... That sort of thing often does say it It uh, sterilizes and kills 99.99% of germs, I suppose. Fit for a big write-up, say, would be newsworthy. All the news that's fit to print, as the New York Times slogan, longtime slogan states, it might help clear things up. Not sure, too long, right, just about this moment. Let's actually jump back. Let's, what have we... Oh, I suppose we didn't ever look at this. First man in Maori mythology, tiki. Okay, well, that... That's interesting. So that's clearly the derivation of many other phrases that involve the word tiki. So a cry of contempt could be ug, perhaps, maybe. I don't know, though. Phi, maybe. Could be probably any number of things. Uh, lead to citizenship test taker, perhaps. Um... I don't know, an, an immigrant, a resident, a applicant, what, who would be, I mean, I can think of obviously people who would take a citizenship test, but what would be the name that would fit in this many cells? I'm not sure. Get put away. Could be being sent to jail. It could be having something having been eaten. It could, could be obviously something put in a cupboard or a cabinet. Not sure though. Eat at, could be annoy maybe. It may be perfect for writing a te uh, tense. You could have a perfect tense in language. 
So that maybe is what that is. Um, what else do we have here? O oh, ocular affliction is a sty uh, sort of thing you can get in your eye. Uh, an ocular meaning referring to the eye. We, presumably this means tiny in this context. Uh, I'm not sure. Emmy winner Aduba. Oh no, this has come up in the crossword relatively recently and I don't remember this person's name, unfortunately. I'm not familiar with I guess if it's an Emmy winner, winner, it must have been a television program. Blank Wren of the Force Awakens. Oh, right. I thought for a moment that was the, the lead woman character in the film, but no, it's the um, Adam Driver character, Kylo Wren. And her name was Ray, not Wren. Okay. Right would be I know. And we, oh, I see. Lil, as in little, contracted. Okay, fair enough. And so because we is itself a, a bit of a, I mean, I think slang would be going too far, but it's informal speech. You could say that. Uh, Lil similarly is informal speech. So those, those things will match. Brain freeze cause a slushy, which is sort of a blended ice drink. And then and Emmy winner Aduba is Uzo Aduba. So there we go. Hopefully I'll remember that next time. We'll have to just hope. American blank, Neil Gaiman novel that won the Hugo and Nebula. Um, I am not sure about this. Well, I'm not only not sure, I don't think I have any idea, actually. Uh, no, I don't think I do. Sorry. Oh, no, sorry. Wrong one. Oh, what was I looking at? I was looking at that. How did I make that mistake? Sorry, that was strange. I was looking at the wrong clue. Um, well, this, if it's in four letters, I do know. It's American Gods. I do, I do recognize that novel. So sorry, that <laughs> that was fine. Um, citizenships, citizenship test taker, perhaps. Um, now this is a strange combination of letters, isn't it? What does that mean? What about this? Eat at could be erode. You could erode a rock face or one's confidence or any number of other things, literally or metaphorically. More than flirt with could be to hit on somebody. So what is this citizenship test taker? What is that? I don't know what that is. It's very strange. Get put away. And lead to. Sorry, there's quite a, quite a lot of noise going on outside and I'm being distracted. We have scaffolding being taken down, or builders taking down some scaffolding outside. So it's, it's uh, I'm finding it quite, um, quite distracting. I don't know if that's coming through. It's probably coming through a bit. Anyway, sorry. Wow, it's getting louder. It must, I think it's right outside my window, in fact. Okay. Cry of contempt, ba, perhaps. And, oh, to lead to something is to beget it. So you could use that in terms of, um, you know, having a child, but also just... Uh, causing actions to occur. So what I, oh, an emigre. Oh, emigre, a citizenship take, test taker. So I wasn't seeing that because slushy was wrong. So it must be slurpy, which I guess is another one of those, a slightly more, I don't know, unappealingly named one, I suppose. Um, oh, what is this? It makes il mondo go round. So, uh, it makes the world go round. So, um, oof, that's, I'm sorry. Um, it makes the world go round and Il Mondo is in Spanish. So the answer will be in, oh, sorry, in Italian. So the answer will be in Italian as well. So that's amore. Love makes the world go round, as they say. Get put away. Okay. Um, I really hope that sound isn't too terrible. I suspect it might be. To get put away is to go to prison. Okay, so that was one of the things I had guessed. Big 12 school, I'm not sure, it'll be a university of some sort. Maybe it probably ends in a U, university user interface actually looks right. So that U was helpful. And ad council output for short, ad council is capitalized. So it's an organization and it's an organization in the United States that will often put out public service announcements on television. Uh, so that's that'll be what that is. Uh, Kansas KC, Kansas City to Detroit direction. Now, based on what we already have in here, the only possibilities would be 
E or N for east by northeast or north by northeast. Those are the only two possibilities. Um, but I don't know which one it is. And what about this? Command after mistakenly pressing control Z would be uh, un undo. Command, oh no, redo, sorry, I see. Because c control Z is to undo something. If you did that on mista by mistake, you might then say, oops, didn't mean to do that. I will redo the thing I just undid. So redo is, it would be the answer there. And then what is this? Biblical land near the kingdoms of Judah and Moab. Uh, well, this here must be, sorry, I'm getting texts and everything's happening. Um, so this Kansas to Detroit direction must be east by northeast and then biblical land near the kingdoms of Judah and Moab. Um, I don't know. It's not Eden, is it? What about this? ER staffers, um, emergency room staffers, registered nurses, and then Brown follower. Oh, I see. Brown dot follower. So this could be Brown University and therefore Brown dot would be followed by edu for Brown dot edu, their, their web address. It might help clear things up. Could be window cleaner. There we go. Straightforward. I'm very curious. What is going on with the four different solutions for this puzzle? I'm very interested, but I'm not sure what it is. Scotch flavor, peat. So um, uh, uh, scotch whiskey will have a peaty flavor because of the the peat in the in the ground. This I don't know. Do you call that terroir when it's Whiskey, or is that just used for wine? I'm not actually sure. Uh, spicy kind of seasoning. Creole seasoning, I suppose, in this case. And closing activity would be, oh, I don't think I saw this clue before, it would be a sale. And then the Big 12 school is ISU. I don't know. Idaho, Iowa, uh, Indiana. I'm not sure. This will be some sort of athletic conference, I, I presume, but I don't know what which it is, and so I don't know what school it is. But ISU, one of them. Okay. Mess, and then what is this? Event with Easter eggs. A hunt, an Easter egg hunt. And, oh, compound clues. So uh, 43, get more 45 down, and then 43 simply says, no, no, sorry, 43, get more 45 down, yes. And then 45 does just say, see, 43 down. Okay. So, Maybe renew and get more issues of a magazine. Just guessing that based on the R-E-N there. So nocturnal marsupial would be an op opossum, I believe. Oh, Edom. Okay, there's the biblical land. It sounds familiar, but I wouldn't have, would not have been able to pull that out of my hat. Uh, fertile spots. Um, is this something to do with ovums, maybe? Fertilizing eggs, but the plural of that would be ova, so I'm not, I don't think so. Runs. Airs, maybe a, a television network, airing a program, running a program, maybe. Oh, and fertile spots could be oases. So you could have an oasis in the desert, which would be a fertile, uh, I don't know, little enclave. Masterwork completed in 1499. Interesting. I'm not sure. What about this? Play matchmaker for it could be to set up. Oh, the Pieta. There we go. Sculpture. And then upper atmosphere, the ether. And a whiz could be a pro. And authority is say so. Okay. So this, this whole area did, did in fact come together pretty quickly. So I would say this has been maybe a tad easier than an average Friday puzzle, maybe. Um, Right. So anyway, if you have the authority to make a decision, you have the say-so, for instance. Um, where the cucumbers are not for eating. Oh, sea cucumbers, right? So the, the sea. The sea is where the cucumbers are not for eating because a sea cucumber... I, well, I guess. Is a sea cucumber something you can eat? I don't actually know. I don't suppose you're meant to. Holiday cookie shape. A star, often. Sassy... Um, oh no, 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 it's not C. Sorry, it's spa. Maybe you can eat it. You probably at least presumably could eat a sea cucumber. I don't know if they're sort of have a, a common culinary usage, but in this case, it wasn't the C, it was the spa because the cucumbers will go in your eye rather than in your mouth, I suppose. 
Okay, so if someone is sassy, maybe pert? I don't know if that quite matches. Drove. Um, what about this? Damage and like many college film projects. I don't know, actually. Star, definitely correct. It seems like it should be. What about this? Sound filler. Uh, so a sound is in a body of water, presumably. Um, salt water? Is that what that would be? And then, yes, mess would be clutter. So there we go. That looks right. And gets ready as a cue stick. You could chalk up a cue stick to add friction to the tip. And then... Oh, I see. If you're behind, you're late. If you're running behind, you're running late. And a snack brand owned by PepsiCo is Lay's. Um, and then a little rascal is a tyke. A federation formed in 1922 for short with the USSR, the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. And a nickname that's an alphabet trio is Stu. Oh, S-T-U. Okay. I don't know that I've seen that, <laughs> that way of cluing Stu before. I've seen Stu clued with things like, I don't know, appropriate name for a man who likes soup or that sort of thing. Okay, I've got it. Probably, aha. I don't feel as though I've got it when it comes to this puzzle. Four solutions. What does that mean? Damage. Damage could be harm. And like many college film projects, arty, maybe. And then if one is sassy, okay, so Pert was correct after all. And then drove is army. So is that, that refers to sort of droves of people, armies of people, that, that meaning, as opposed to drove, uh, the verb. So there we go. And is that, yeah, that's, that's correct. Okay. So, um, I have the option here to admire my puzzle, but I think I'm perplexed by my puzzle. So let's read the, um, circles. Another one. Okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> All right. So as the as the um the note said, this puzzle has four different solutions. When you're done, read the circled letters from top to bottom to find another one. So we did find another one. What is the four different solutions? What does that mean? <laughs> Is that also some sort of, just some sort of pun? Four different, different salute. Oh, 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 Ah, mouthwash, hand sanitizer, window cleaner, and salt water are all solutions. <laughs> In the sense that a solution refers to um, something, it's a, it's a, a liquid that is something dissolved in water, solute. So... <laughs> So that's what all of these things are. Um, I mean, they're all they're all solutions. They're all you know, water with other things in them. Well, is that the definition of a solution? I think. I don't know if these are. I don't remember how specific the definition of solution is. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. We all understand that a solution is you know a liquid with things in it and. Mouthwash, hand sanitizer, window cleaner, and salt water are all are all solutions. I definitely got April fooled. I think just now I really was expecting something extremely convoluted and complex. Instead, we got four solution answers, and then the phrase "another one" spelled out in the circles. So well done, Evan Mankin and Will Shorts. Um, I feel as though I was I was. Uh, well and truly had on April 1st, but it didn't even involve any sort of terrible news fooling. It was just just some silly jokes in a crossword puzzle, and I think that's perfectly fine. <laughs> Much better way to celebrate April 1st than than the way that that uh, seems to become seems to have become the more common one in recent years. Anyway, very good, very clever, very ridiculous. So uh, that's it for the Friday puzzle, and. Let's discuss a few clues from yesterday's puzzle. Okay, well, as it turns out, there weren't any uh, there weren't any corrections from yesterday's puzzle. So that's it. That's it for the Friday puzzle. We've solved it, and it was uh, a fun exception to the typical Friday themeless convention. So we had we will have had six 
six themeless, uh, sorry, six themed puzzles this week. At least, I suppose we could end up with a, another themed puzzle tomorrow. Probably not. Um, probably not for the Saturday puzzle. Um, the most difficult puzzle of the week, usually. So do come back and join me for that. And uh, do subscribe to the channel. And do tell a friend if you think you know somebody who might enjoy this, either one-to-one -one or on your social media network of choice. Thank you to everybody who's done, who's done that. Thanks to everybody who's subscribed. Uh, so, yes, as I say, come back tomorrow for what is very likely our only themeless puzzle of the week. And, oh, and speaking of the Patreon campaign, speaking of themeless puzzles, actually, um, today I suppose I'll need to solve the most recent Bosswords Spring Themeless competition puzzle. I'll put that up on the Patreon feed tomorrow. It's a new month, which means um, there's a new monthly bonus puzzle and all sorts of other things I'm going to be solving. So look forward to that if you're a patron. Um, and that's that. I will see you tomorrow, I hope. But until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Friday. Take care. Mm -hmm.